Oh. <laughs> Just got a music disc. So, today we have a big, big Enderman problem. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you'll notice they're taking everything. They are, they are robbing us blind. <laughs> This was supposed to be our solution, so we had like a command block set up. This is command block survival, by the way, where every command has a price. And we had them attracted to this endermite in the center. And so they would get teleported from anywhere on the island, anger at the uh, endermite, and then they get teleported to the end. So we kind of like send them back where they came from. So we don't remove them. We just uh, put them back home. However, they're taking blocks before they leave. Like the whole reason that we're <laughs> that we were getting rid of them is so that we didn't have to do fix this kind of stuff and have to worry about random blocks being placed. Actually, I should show you. <laughs> Our problem is actually twofold, as I am about to show you. Look down. <laughs> uh, yeah. So here's all our missing blocks. Um. I don't really want to have to come back here to uh, get all of them back. But you want to know something? <sighs> yeah, see, they're placing them around here. Oh, whoa, this is... This is way more <laughs> than I thought. <laughs> uh, wow, that explains a lot. <laughs> well, anyway, um, the terrible truth is any Enderman that we teleport back to the end that is holding a block... As long as they're holding the block, they can't despawn. This guy, now that he's placed it, he can despawn. But any of these guys that are uh, hanging around, they will not despawn, which is bad for our Enderman farm up there. Uh, it's working okay. It's not working at peak efficiency. Because these guys are just wandering around here, just making a mess of the end. I mean, on, on the plus side, we could potentially turn the end into a grassy area. <laughs> oh, no. This is just crazy. Now, as cool as it would be to have the Endermen fill up the end island with grass blocks, I don't really want them taking it from our island, our main island. Oh, I angered one. That was bound to happen. Yeah, I don't really want them, like, removing all of our island grass, because uh, this island is a lot bigger than our island at home. <laughs> so we're going to have to do something about this. Oh, by the way, the system that we set up, or the, that we expanded on last episode, is working brilliantly. Um, not all the chests are finished yet. I think there's like two over here, and then... Yeah, the glass and stuff I haven't done yet, but it's... It's going good. So, let's go try something with the Enderman. <laughs> this is the little secret door into the, uh, all the command block craziness. And way, way, way in the back here is the returning the Enderman to the end. And all I really want to try is just a single or a really simple thing here. And it's going to add um, basically a single tag called Anger Time to the Enderman. Because right now we're modifying the Enderman's Angry Act. So we're like telling them to be angry at the Endermite so that they won't pick up any blocks and like run towards it. But apparently that's not enough. So maybe if we have that, the angry at, and then the anger time, the combo of those might, might help things. All right, so we will just set this to the max that it can normally be. Like if you hit an enderman, it, it makes them angry for anywhere in between uh, 400 to 800 ticks. So we'll try this out. Now, to test this, we need some Endermen. So, unless we get lucky, we're probably going to have to go find some instead of just wait here. Oh! He wasn't holding a block. <laughs> I'm surprised we got lucky. <laughs> I was waiting here earlier, <laughs> like during the intro. Um, I was waiting here for a long time and none showed up. Well, okay. Hmm. So that actually brings up a different question. How can we tell if they're taking blocks with them? Now, unfortunately, I think probably the best way is going to be to get rid of all the Endermen in here that are carrying blocks, and maybe to get rid of the ones out there, too. Here's where I'm probably going to die. 
<laughs> Even in a safe place like this, I feel like I get tricked. Oh. They're always speedier than you expect, too. Okay, so if we clear out these guys that are holding blocks, and any that are mad at us, then we should be able to come back here and check if any are getting through with blocks. We don't want them to be getting... Oh! This is exactly what I said. <laughs> Wait, did he place it? Oh no, there's the other. You can't walk down half a stair. It's too complicated. I understand. <laughs> I just realized this is already set up perfectly for what we need. They can't actually walk back in here. So the only ones that are in here are ones that have teleported from our island, which means we can get an accurate reading if any are bringing blocks into the end which is perfect. So now we need some Endermen. We need to do some bulk testing, I guess. Actually, wait. All the Endermen we need are here. So we should use these Pokemon snowballs. We made these quite a few episodes ago. These have gone through a lot of different iterations. Um, but we can use these to catch mobs. Now, Endermen are weird. They teleport when you throw projectiles at them. Uh... Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> I have netherite armor and I still run from Enderman. I think that makes me a bad player. <laughs> but I accept it. Oh, he teleported. So, we might need to set up a way to have the snowball work with Enderman again, maybe? They used to a long time ago. That's why I say again. But now they kind of just teleport away. Okay, this is actually more exciting than I remember. We had a separate system that we we're going to set up for the Endermen, and it hasn't been set up yet, which means we can do it today. So ideally, we would use these Ender Balls to catch Endermen, um, because they actually have a crafting recipe, so there's, again, it's like a price for every command. Um, the problem with Ender Pearls is that if you throw them, even if they're specially named, you get teleported. So if we want to catch Endermen so that we can test that, um, which actually while we're working on this, there's a chance that Endermen will get teleported in there too. So just by doing something else, we're going to trigger some Endermen to go through. But if we want to catch the Endermen, we got to make it so that we're not getting teleported every time. Probably. At least, at least try. We'll try and uh, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. So I got one idea already. Data remove owner. So what this might do is, or at least what I'm hoping it'll do, is it will remove the owner tag from the ender pearl. So it won't teleport anything. Hopefully it doesn't break terribly. Uh, we need NBT though. We need NBT for these. Because we don't want it, we want regular ender pearls to work as normal. We're not trying to break every single ender pearl in the world here. That would uh, that'd be dumb. So that means that we need to um, get some data from this ender pearl. So what I'm going to do is chuck it and run this command before it hits the ground, and then we just copy we just copy the uh, nbt into that command block. You know, it's always a good idea to test this kind of stuff. So if it even finds the correct ender pearl and everything, it should say hi. So that way we know that that half of the command is working. Thrown ender pearl high, yeah. Okay. So we'll give it a shot. Uh, let's just throw it straight up so it has the best, best, like most time. Ooh. <laughs> now I gotta go craft more. <laughs> and it didn't work. Can you believe it? Hmm. Do I not have any chorus fruit? I just looked up the recipe. It requires chorus fruit. Wait, actually, I might have put that in one of the new ones. Forward, forward. Aha! Let's check this out. I think we don't need a lot of coarse fruit, so it should be all right. Uh, so I think it's something like this. Yep. Uh, why didn't it remove the ender pearl from my inventory? Hmm. Do I end up with an extra ender pearl? I do. I fixed that with the snowballs, but apparently not with the ender balls. Well, anyway, we have some more ender balls here, so that's uh, that's a good thing. All right, just to make sure, 
this is working. I think it should be. I updated it because the recipe is actually only supposed to give one ender pearl instead of four. So um, this is supposed to be like a more expensive version. Oh, yep. We didn't lose or we did lose one because so, we had four and now we only have three and then we got one. Okay everything's working as it should be. So now we have more of these and we can test swapping the owner. So rather than destroying the owner tag, we can just swap it to something that we'll never use. All right, come on, don't teleport me. That's, it. no. <laughs> Fooey, hmm, I've had a thought. And we need an entity to test this on. Um, but it might not actually be such a bad thing if we're teleporting sometimes, as long as we don't teleport when it actually hits an entity. Okay, so let us test this. If we don't get teleported when we hit the zombie, then it's maybe okay. Okay, that's not gonna work probably. Because <laughs> if you're trying to catch an Enderman, you like get teleported straight to them. It's pretty risky again we could work that in like as the balancing thing we would just have to figure out we you know we'd have to work around it rather than just trying to remove it entirely so. hmm. well we we don't really know how bad of a downside that is until we actually get the functionality up and running so this is an old command block this red thing means uh that it doesn't get triggered. I found this trick out a long time ago, actually. If if you have a, like one slash, it doesn't do anything. But if you want to make it so that the command doesn't run at all, you just add an extra slash and then it counts. And it'll the redstone will go right through it and it won't trigger. But then you don't have to delete any of this. <laughs> Anywho, this is an old command block and it happened to work with Endermen. And I updated everything and so then it no longer worked with Endermen. But now... We have need of this old command block. So as a temporary setup, I'm going to put it just here, I guess. Oh my goodness, that's long. <laughs> I'm crafting more of these. And these things are actually pretty expensive. Like I'm spending 12 ender pearls, and I get three. So I'm going to bring the chorus fruit and we can probably make some more when we get there. but. I am kind of reconsidering only getting one from that recipe. I don't know, we'll see about the catch rate. If the catch rate is like pretty high, then getting one is fine. But if the catch rate's low and the recipe is expensive, we might have to adjust it. Now, probably there's no new Endermen that have teleported here. Oh, um, I guess I was wrong. <laughs> well, uh, that one didn't have a block either, so so far, that system seems to be working. Well, actually, I guess we could just go catch that one. But yeah, we're, we want a bulk test. We want to be really sure. No, I think he teleported. Kind of hard to tell. So it'll only trigger if the ender ball is like within a distance of less than two. Oh, <gasps> nice. I discovered that throwing it like past the Enderman seems to be the thing that works the best. Okay, so we're gonna want more. I'm getting an idea that's a little dangerous. So these guys, this is the Enderman farm, by the way. Yeah, the one that we built in the very middle of the End Island. This is before you could respawn the Ender Dragon. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, uh, these Endermen are probably no good because they're one hit away from death. So we don't really want them to die like as soon as they teleport in. So we need full health ones. So we're going to go up to the platform here. All right, this has the potential to be pretty dangerous. Oh, wow, that's a whole group. Oh, man. Oh, I just caught like four. Hmm, that's definitely a downside. <gasps> Wait, is this... I don't think this is the named one. I thought it was the one that was up there. Ooh, that would have been bad. Okay, so we just bulk caught a bunch of Endermen. I will have to fix that later. I don't think you should be able to bulk catch. It should only catch one, like the nearest one. But anyway, um, 
Here we go. You don't look very angry. Now he's gonna pick up a block. We need him to be like angry immediately. Dude, he's just like, he's not angry at all. Actually, let's get his data. Anger times zero. Wait, didn't we just change that? That's not supposed to be zero. Is he angry at anything? Probably not if his anger times zero. Interesting. Is this guy on a team? I suppose I should check. Because those, those Pokemon balls, um, they set them to a team. Uh, <laughs> his name's Bait. Uh, well, he is not on a team. So there's no reason for it to be messing up. And they do eventually teleport, but they have to like... It's like a uh, an Enderman farm. They have to have direct eye contact. And we're trying to trigger it with command. So that that's still not working. So just to check if this is even working at all, I brought one of the commands, the uh, Endermite one. So we're going to summon in our friend who is on our team. And then we're going to try and make him angry at the Endermite. Yeah, that's not working. Okay. That, that, that should be working. <laughs> Anger times zero. Huh? Are you not angry at him at all? He's like not even turning his head. Oh, he turned his head that time. <laughs> that is so weird. <laughs> oh man. So apparently anger time and angry at and stuff is broken for Enderman. I looked it up and there's there's actually a bug report and uh, it doesn't work. So we're gonna have to find an, a different solution. I do have another idea. It involves water bottles. Man, they uh, <laughs> they really get around, don't they? This is why there's random like dirt blocks and grass blocks all over my base. It's so annoying, and I just I really want to get rid of it. Uh, anyways, so we're gonna make some splash water bottles just to make sure this works like I think it does. Now, Enderman dodge projectiles. I'm sure you're aware. But there is an exception to that, and that exception is Splash Water Bottles. Splash Water Bottles can actually hit them. And the important thing about that is that damage can be attributed to whatever we want. So now we have a participant, and we're going to see if the Water Bottle will make him angry at the Endermite, therefore letting us teleport him back to where he came from. Hopefully without holding any of the blocks. What? Oh, that's the wrong potion effect. That's weird. <laughs> it's like a, it's like purple. Okay, so it should do the water bottle now. I had to adjust a few things, but hopefully it'll be good. And now, he gets angry, but he doesn't, he like runs away, but he doesn't try and do anything about the Endermite. Mm. Wait, removed him from... I thought he wasn't on a team. Hmm. <laughs> uh, that definitely could be part of the issue. That's for sure. Man, I was so sure that that Endermite wasn't on a team, but honestly, if he, uh... <sighs> wow, that's like instant. This is why it's a lot better to have levers on these things. Uh, yep, it's not on. <laughs> oh boy. I think I figured out a way to, uh, fix, like, the multi-catch thing. I think if I just do limit and then... Sort equals nearest. It'll just only pick one and whatever the closest one is. <laughs> oh no. Uh... 
<laughs> oh, he finally went through. Uh, yeah, that's not supposed to happen that many times. <laughs> All right, so this method seems to be working. Um, to test it, though, we have to put them out of the initial range. And then they get teleported. And sometimes they teleport around a few times before they lock on to the Endermite. But eventually they seem to go. And I don't think that they're really picking up any blocks. So, pet knight. He already had a block. <laughs> Fooey. I thought I got ones without blocks. But yeah, they, they teleport around quite a few times. And that's kind of a problem. Seems like they come in on this side a lot more. It's probably because it's flatter. So what we might want to do is just flatten out this area and then maybe like have this path just be cut into the side rather than like a gentle slope because the Enderman can't really see the Endermite. So just as a concept, if we... Yeah, like the colors are pretty close there. So we could... We could just set this all up as uh, green wool. Yeah, because I think we've solved the issue of them just taking blocks from elsewhere. It seems it seems like it's only around here. The nice thing is we have a lot more control over this, uh, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, spawn area or reverse spawn area, <laughs> teleport area. We have a lot more control over this platform here than we do over just the entire island in general. So um, we actually only have to clean up like the border because Endermen, when they're on this, like a flat surface, they can't pick up this dirt block. They have to be like on the side to pick it up. So they could pick up these two, but if we just, you know, put some blocks next to it that they can't pick up, then we're good. And I was thinking maybe something that might make more sense would be uh, leaves leaves would look pretty natural we could just kind of make a and make it look like a hedge almost and uh, that would make it so they couldn't pick up anything on the sides here at all and like that doesn't look too bad we'd have to figure out exactly where we want to put it this tree kind of makes this path look short but I mean we could just put like bushes all along the edge here and protect all the moss and dirt and stuff, and it probably wouldn't look too bad. In fact, I think I like that the the leaves better than the artificial grass idea. Although it, <laughs> the artificial grass is kind of funny. Hmm. I suppose we could combine them. Just make a border on this side. with the artificial grass. This looks pretty interesting. This path is a little bit wrecked now, so we might actually want to move that tree. But overall, this place is I don't know. I like looking at it. <laughs> it doesn't have to be particularly beautiful. It's just, it just kind of makes sense. And that's all it really needs, I guess. Yeah, so I haven't filled in the uh, artificial grass, but like I said, it doesn't have to be that way for the Enderman to not pick up stuff. So we should be able to test it, even though we might not get all the artificial grass filled in on camera. Don't worry, I will do it though. <laughs> even if it's not done on camera, it will get done. Because that'll bug me as much as it would bug you, you know? All right, if these two are clean, then I'm feeling pretty good about calling it done. No! Ha Wait, why is there so many? Hmm. Hmm. Where did you come from? Well, I was expecting two, and there's five in here. And only out of those five, only one of them has a block. So I think we can clean up the end island now. Because if they're not bringing any more blocks, then uh, this isn't just wasted effort. If they were bringing more in, then I mean, there would literally be no point. 
but it looks like uh, it looks like everything's good. I think that that guy came in from before we had everything set up. Um, and even if he didn't, like, it's a lot lower rate than it was. So we could probably make some adjustments to the spawn platform and get it to be 100%. Because it looks like they're not picking anything up before the, the spawn platform or the teleport platform, whatever. <laughs> whatever. I just keep thinking spawn platform. I'm cooking up a little more cactus for the uh, artificial grass, but I almost forgot. We got the new music disc, and I don't even think I have a jukebox anywhere. So, we're gonna make one. No, wait, it's wood, it's wood, it's wood. All right, hopefully this isn't too loud. I don't know where I would put a jukebox. Ah. We'll see if this works. This is like tropical. <laughs> oh, you can hear it throughout everything. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I might leave that there. Oh look, the cactus is done. Ooh, another one. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Like I said, really happy with the progress we made. And even though it's not 100%, I think that it was definitely an improvement. So... Not to mention the uh, the enderballs, which were not working at all, and now they're totally working. <laughs> and oh, I did confirm it works uh, like against a group of endermen, so it only catches one of them now. And I think that the four to one ratio is pretty good because once you figure out how to throw them, you have like a pretty consistent catch rate. So I think that that's a good trade off, and I think that this is a good trade off. <laughs> Anywho, that's it from me. So I'll catch you next time. Later, later. Thank you.